Hi, I'm Kevin McNally and with Jefferson Beach Yacht Sales and we are on board the Great Lakes Premier of the Sunseeker Superhawk 55. I think you're going to really enjoy this tour. It is a spectacular vessel that has really hit every aspect of heritage, ingenuity, and just an overall genius approach to how a boat should be put together and designed. fantastic monstrous platform on this Sunseeker Superhawk and if you look this storage compartment here is conveniently located so that you can put all your water toys fenders and lines in here and it's uh, easy access you can actually get it to or get to it at the back as well as up forward okay another fantastic feature here with this platform is it drops down with the stairs that are integrated in here it actually becomes part of your boarding stairs onto the platform going down into the water. Get your access to your, your uh, docking plate here, as well as this gate. This is pretty interesting. Look at the CNC work that they put into here for detailing on the 55 Super Hot. All right, have a look at this table, how easy it converts into a full dinette. Very smooth, simple operation. All right, this is a pretty simple operation here for sliding this whole unit forward, convert it so that now you have wraparound seating for your dinette, but then you get full access around, if you watch, we're gonna get both sides converted here. All right, this is some pretty slick engineering and this is a game changer for the cockpit because not only can you move all the seating around, you can take this table switch it around like this and you've got a little easier access all around here we also have some fantastic storage on both sides of the sliding dinette seating if you look inside here look at these are very roomy all right so in addition to the electric forward facing lounger there we also have these that convert so you can either be flat or facing aft we also have additional access to that storage for your water toys and your lines aft. You can come up here forward in the cockpit, lift it up and look at all your additional access to all your lines, vendors, cleaning, supplies, whatever you want to put in there. One of the focuses that Sunseekers come up with based on the heritage and the tradition of the brand and the, and the super hawk image is taking kind of that tradition and combining it with innovation and making things functional as well as very stylistic. If you look at the materials they're building here into the webbing, um, into uh, all the backing on here, as well as the styling with the, uh, the seats moving in multiple different configurations, it truly makes a lot of sense just from a, not just styling, not just looks, but from a boater standpoint when you're out there and you're trying to make the best of the space. And that's what this boat truly has done. We also have a phenomenal entertaining wet bar up top here in the cockpit, which really complements what's down below because this truly becomes part of your living space. If you look at here, we have the Kenyan grill built in and underneath here we have a fantastic refrigerator that even has a little ice cube tray up top here and closing that up going forward, we have a fantastic wet bar sink. This raises up for use. It's a very deep sink. And then additional storage here. And then going off to the port, we have an ice maker. So on both sides of our uh, raising television here, which is a must have in the cockpit, we have these fantastic uh, storage compartments here that actually can be used a little ice coolers. You can actually drop ice in there and keep your drinks nice and cool. And then going off to the port here, I'm gonna hit this button here and we're gonna raise that TV up. 
That's a 43 inch Samsung, which we actually have four of these on board. As a matter of fact, there's one in the salon and one of each of the staterooms, complete with speakers, surround sound. These are Apple TV functional. All right, as we drop TV down, you're gonna see we have an absolutely phenomenal innovation in terms of how this cockpit and helm is designed. You're gonna see up here forward, we have two 16 inch Garmin glass cockpit, full multifunction displays. Very easy to operate, all at your fingertips. And in addition, you're gonna see these air conditioning ducts here that really work substantial while you're underway to keep you cool. So we talked about the innovation in terms of the styling on the helm area here. We have a Seakeeper gyro on here, which is gonna make it uh, much more pleasant for your guests hanging out for the day. And if you look here too, you have this uh, interesting little storage. Look at that finish on there, how thick that uh, glass is. Dropping that down, if you look too down below the steering wheel, you actually have a wireless charger here for your cell phone. Kind of a nice convenient area. You do have additional USB ports in here as well. Another very unique design to this, which truly gives you uh, an enclosed cockpit feel, is we have these Panagraph doors that open up with some very substantial yacht hardware, I must say. And as you open this up, giving you full access to get to the bow, what it does is it takes your space that's inside the cockpit, and instead of having walkways aft, you now have an extra large cockpit. All right, now check out this access to the bow. You've got bulwarks that are way up past the knees, and it's a substantial, easy uh, access to the bow is making it so that you're not feeling unstable whatsoever once you're going forward. All right, this is some ingenious innovation in terms of design on a bow. Let me tell you about some extraordinary seating, uh, conversion with the sun lounge up here, and then you've got a walkway on the inside of this that what it's there for is so that you don't take away from the aesthetics and the overall lines of the boat from the side. All right, underneath these sun lodge conversions, which I'm going to show you, you also have additional storage under here for lines, and it gives you full access that runs the full length of these loungers here. And if you look how easy these convert, you got times three. As I mentioned, we actually have this fantastic storage that's underneath the forward bow. This extends all the way up to that midsection there, and as you drop this down, Got one little button here that you pull. This convert sized sun lounge. Another thing they've done very well is they've organized this bow so that your anchor is not encumbering any of your usage of this space whatsoever. Matter of fact, it's completely hidden. Gives a little bit more of a safe feeling when you're up top. All right, we've got dual compartments in here with these doors that open up easily. And there's your windlass. That's actually a Lumar windlass with a 70 pound anchor package on there. And popping this up, now I've got access to my chain locker on both sides. In addition, if you look over to the port side here, we have a, a remote that's hardwired so we can stand up on the bow and operate your windlass. Forward lounge on this, actually, this conversion area, which can be either one giant sun pad or you can pop this open and we have a removable table that inserts in the center of this little cockpit area. We've got lots of cup holders on top here as well, all around. And then if you look over to the far side, you have a fusion uh, stereo remote there that you can operate while you're sitting on the front lounge. As you close the door here and you head down that lovely walkway, you're gonna see a pretty incredible innovation in terms of design and detailing. You have a look at your intakes for your engine air. Right, we're in uh, an exceptional salon on the Superhawk, and this is um, a two-stateroom boat that some people are calling the, the day boat, but truly it's, it's uh, far more than that because what they've done is they've taken this space, they've given you true extra-large staterooms that would be uh, debatable as far as which one is your master stateroom. They've got almost seven feet of headroom in here, Lots of air, lots of light, lots of window space carrying through both sides, all different levels. Um, our soft goods are 
very rich feeling. Um, neutral colors. We've got some phenomenal fit and finish items with the uh, way the railings are here. Um, all your uh, all your all your window trim pieces. You've got a smoked eucalyptus. Is what they call the wood in here. Uh, it's it's got a little bit of a sheen, but it's mostly satin, so it doesn't show up all your fingerprints on it. Uh, and when you come around here into the galley, as I mentioned, because this is not as large as some of your galleys you're going to find in a boat this size, because they're putting most of your living accommodations up top with your galley. So you do have a large size real Miele stove, uh, as well as a um, conduction stove top here and look at your uh, lots of window area here opening port light to get some ventilation again having a look at that richness and the uh, smoke eucalyptus uh, very deep sink in here with a uh, you can lift that up have a look at uh, our fantastic storage that's dedicated to all your uh, all your dishware in here as well as a uh, cutlery storage that's built in here Nice and convenient, I'm trying to, not trying to buy special pieces to fit in there, it's all built in. We have a large fridge, it's full stand up in here, and look at the detailing on the front. Looking on the inside, you have a decent sized uh, area up top for your freezer as well. All right, we're gonna go into the forward stateroom here that uh, somewhat debatable which is your vip which is your master stateroom i'll let you choose you look at the size of your uh, head arrangement in here with full size shower uh, separated from the head and then coming into here you've got a good sized island bed fantastic fit and finish with look at your sculpting and your uh, different pieces throughout in terms of your fit and finish we have a 43 inch uh, Samsung TV that's Apple compatible and it has surround sound system on it as well. We have one of these in the salon as well as the uh, other stateroom and up on the cockpit area as well. All right, I'm here in the midship cabin, which most people would probably consider the master. It does have the 43 inch screen in here. You have uh, fantastic storage throughout. Look at your, again, the fit and finish on here and all your cup, your cabinetry work. All oh, that smoked eucalyptus is absolutely beautiful. That satin finish. Look at the size of the closet space in here. And you also have this uh, rather unique storage over on the side, which you can slide over, have it open one side, close it on the other, and you can pick or choose which works better for you. You come over to this side, you have another closet space, substantial. And look at that wonderful opening port light there, which lets in all this fantastic natural light. All right, here's your head on the midship stateroom. It is a wet head with a shower in there, which would make it, uh, so some people might think this is your VIP cabin. So one of the features that's prevalent on this entire vessel, is they've, done a, they've done a phenomenal job of their LED lights that they put in here. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but relative to the heritage of Sunseeker yachts, that is actually the Union Jack part of it inlaid into the uh, panoramic ceiling. Again, more of that LED lighting throughout here. And then we've got more actually built into the hard top up in the cockpit as well. So we optioned this Super Hawk with the optional hardtop on here, which has the built-in LED lighting kind of carrying on what they're doing throughout the mid cabin as well. And if you look forward, as a matter of fact, on the anchor hatches, they've done the same thing because they're trying to tie it all in together for styling. Going down below deck, you'll see this has a pair of Volvo IPS 950s. That's 725 horsepower each, pushing this vessel to 36 to 38 knots at wide open speeds. 